Man, what a fun yard sale. There's a lot of good stuff here. Man, there's some investing books. Ooh, used copy of the Burr book. Let me go ask him how much this costs. Hello, sir. Awesome yard sale you got here. I see this used copy of the Burr book by none other than David Green of Bigger Pockets. How much is this? Well, you can actually buy that book for no money out of pocket today, sir. Are you saying for zero dollars down? That's right. Now, it's not free, but you're not going to have to pay me anything. In fact, if you want that book, I'll give it to you today. You can walk out of here, no money out of pocket. I just need 3% of the equity of any burrs that you buy. You want a take in my house to help me out with the cost right now? I don't know if that's a good deal for me. No money down, though. You can walk out of here, no money out of your pocket. That's a great sales pitch, but I think I'm going to buy the book myself. All right. If you think this sounds crazy, then today's episode is for you. Christian and I are going to be talking about zero down loan programs that mortgage lenders will advertise with their clickbait to get you to call them. But there is a catch. We're going to reveal that catch today on this episode of Mortgage Monday. Christian Bachelder, welcome to Mortgage Mondays. How are you today? I'm doing good. Doing good. Got some fun articles to, to break through today. So looking forward to this one. Yes, we do. And if you couldn't guess it from the headline today, Christian and I are going to be talking about zero down mortgages. Should we be excited about this? Should we be scared about this? Is this the beginning of another housing crash? Christian, tell me, what are you thinking about this? Let me let me put a disclosure on this. These are things that have been going on for a number of years now. So it's not like there's this huge surge in them. What is happening is there are more marketing dollars being put into them. For instance, in the article that we're going to have linked in the notes section down below. One of the biggest lenders in America, United Wholesale Mortgage, announced that they are now doing a zero down loan program where they give the borrowers a 3% down assistance. They are announcing that they're the first ones doing it and there's been nothing ever like it. They literally copy and pasted the loan product from other lenders. So it's not so much that there's this huge influx of them and there's a massive amount of borrowers who are interested in them right now. It is something that I feel like is being pushed. I don't love it. As a mortgage broker, a lot of brokers would say they love down payment assistance. It helps people get into their first home. I think there's risks associated with a lot of zero down options, obviously, but probably different than the majority feels. I think starting somebody out 100% leveraged on their home, when you do have PMI, typically these come at a little bit higher rates because it is all leveraged. And the 3% gift could be structured as a second loan or an equity share in the interest of your house. However, it's structured. When I've really put them side by side, it's almost always been in the benefit of the borrower to just save 3%. And I know that's easy to say, but if you pair up with family or you got a friend or you want to get into your first property with roommates, you know, 3% down of a home is usually the doable range for most first time home buyers, whether that's FHA or conventional first time home buyers. It almost always is in the benefit of you to have that down payment versus taking advantage of programs like this. So let me take a stab at what might be going on here. Am I crazy to think that a zero down loan is actually a 3% down conventional loan that the lender? Lender is giving you a gift of 3% on. So it's zero down to you because they're contributing your down payment for you. But instead of paying them back, it's not a gift, it's a loan. Instead of paying them back with interest, you just pay them back later when you sell the house. Yeah. And the downside is you don't just pay them back. You pay them back plus their share of appreciation. So they're partnering with you on this property, basically. They're giving you that 3% down to get a stake of the equity in your house. That's exactly right. And is that better than saving you 3% actually being able to build true home ownership? You know, a lot of people say 3%, it's not very much. Well, when you go to sell your house, 3% is the realtor fee that we're causing the hoopla about for the NAR lawsuit, right? And all the appreciation that came from that 3%, you're you're paying two, three other realtors potentially in fees, right? To your lender, they allow you to come in with no money down, right? And it's funny, we've gotten a few applications for these, David. Not a few, we've gotten a lot. There's a lot of interest in these programs right now. And I'll side by side put, here's what you look like with 3% down of your own money. And here's what you look like with the zero down option. And 90 plus percent of people that I present both of them to choose, okay, let me just put the 3% down option. And most times the people interested in these programs do have the down payment. They're just curious. They're like, hey, can I put nothing down? Is that even possible? But they have money in their account. And when you, when you really break down and sift through all the, you know, the fine print that obviously isn't going to go on a, on a blog article or an advertisement from a big lender, you really start to see there's a pretty clear choice for 90 plus percent of buyers. Okay. Now these are only for primary residences, not for investment properties, correct? That is correct. Okay. And is there a difference in rate if you take the zero down option? 
There usually is, um, usually do get a little bit higher rate. And that, like I said, that, that 3% option can be structured three different ways. It can be a grant. Those are the most rare where it's literally free money. Those usually come from state or, or, uh, local programs. That is not the UWM program. That's not most down payment assistance. Number two, it can come as a loan, which is where you get a 97% loan and a 3% loan. Um, and that 3% loan usually is at pretty high rates. Or number three, it could be equity share, like what we're sharing in this situation where the lender actually just owns that, you know, they're a partner. Like you said, David, they just own 3% of your house and you owe them when you sell it or when you refinance. In any of those three, though, all of these are primary residence loans, as you asked, David. So I don't want to be any confusion. You can't go buy an investment property with 0% down, much less less than 20 Right. All right. So the big question, does this mean we're heading to another housing crash because people are once again able to buy properties for 0% down? This is obviously the talking point here. Um, this is probably what everybody thinks of when they hear zero down, when they hear no income. You know, if, if those in 2008, remember the ninja loans, right? No income, no job, right? N-I-N-J. These are not those. These are fully qualified conventional loans. You have to qualify with income. Most of these have an income criteria that you have to meet. So you can't make too much. You can't make too little. You kind of have to be in the Goldilocks zone, right? Almost all programs that are being underwritten right now in America have significantly higher underwriting than they did in 2008. And I say almost because... For the really seasoned investors that we've spoken about on the podcast for like bridge loans and things like that. Yes, there's no income verification, DSCR loans. Yes, there's no income, but you're putting 20 to 30% down. It's way different. The difference in 2008 is you could go get that DSCR no income loan and you could put no money down. Guys, if we're ever on the podcast and you hear me say that, that's the time to brace. When you're getting 0% down, no income loans, brace for impact because we're about to hit. We are not at that point right now. Okay. These are fully underwritten, conventional, conforming loans that just have this 3% little benefit on the back end of them. So you're saying the difference would be back then you could claim that you made a certain amount of money and get approved on whatever you claimed. You They weren't actually underwriting you. With today's standards, they're still looking at your income, your debt to income ratio, your expenses, your credit score. And they're saying, hey, you have to qualify for it as if you were putting the 3% down. You just, instead of putting 3% of your own money down, you have the option of taking a 3% loan from somebody else and they want 3% of the equity of the property. And when you sell it, they'll get paid then. That's correct. hundred percent. All right. Well, if you're somebody who's been looking to buy a house without any money and it's a primary residence and you feel confident the market's going to keep going up, this could be an option for you. Also, if you would like to find a lender or a real estate agent, we at Bigger Pockets have got you covered. Head to biggerpockets.com slash agent match, where you can look through different real estate agents, check out their profiles and see if the perfect match might be out there for you. So head over to biggerpockets.com slash agent match to start looking for your perfect agent today. And if you want to see Christian and I in person, we will be in Cancun at the Bigger Pockets conference this year. You can head over to biggerpockets.com slash events where you can buy your tickets to join us in paradise. Learn about real estate investing, make some new friends and have an epic experience. I would love to see you there. If you've got a minute, check out another video. And if not, we will see you next week on Mortgage Monday. <laughs>